Yo, 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 welcome to Physics, 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 Hi, I'm Vinay and I'm back with episode number 7 from the Rare series. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you a very rare shortcut in circular motion. So, suppose I have a particle connected to a string and I give it some velocity. If that speed is less than root 5gl and greater than root 2gl, where l is the string length, I know that it is going to perform circular motion and at some point above the horizontal, the tension is going to become zero, the string is going to become slack. Let's say the angle that the string makes with the vertical at that point is theta. So tension here at this angle theta is zero. Now, after this point, the particle is going to perform projectile motion because the string has become slack and the particle is only under the influence of gravity. So it's going to perform projectile motion, but only up till a point. At one point, the string will become taut again. And let's say that angle with the vertical where the string becomes taut again is alpha. The string will become taut again when the particle is at a distance of L again from a point of suspension. Let's call that P. And the angle with the vertical, let's call that alpha. So, so alpha would be equal to pi minus 3 theta. This is a very useful equation um, that is not uh, very commonly known. Let's have a look at a type of question where you can apply this equation. I'll give you the proof at the end of the video, but let's first look at an application. So the kind of question that can come in J and where you can use this is, let's say a particle is given some speed and at some point it becomes slack, tension becomes zero. The question will ask, find you the initial speed such that once the string becomes slack, the particle performs projectile motion and goes through its initial position. So the traditional way to do it would be to write, probably write equation of trajectory, write some projectile equation motion uh, equations. But uh, using that shortcut that I showed, the string becomes slack at let's say at an angle theta. And then when it becomes taut again, it is in the vertical position. The shortcut was the string becomes taut at an angle alpha and it becomes slack at theta and alpha was pi minus 3 theta. So can you see here the value of alpha in our question would be 0 and therefore theta would be pi by 3 60 degrees and once you have this then it is a very simple question. Once you have theta is 60 degrees, write the equation, the usual equation of force. So, I will have mg cos theta is the force towards the center is mv square by L and so substituting cos theta as half you will have v square is gl by 2 and then it's just energy conservation you can have v square is u square minus 2g and the height would be L plus L cos theta. So, 2 g l plus l cos theta would be l by 2 and you will get your initial speed. So, you can see a lot of time and effort is saved by using a shortcut instead of writing the entire projectile equations. And now, let me just show you uh, a brief outline for the proof. So, the string becomes slack at an angle theta. If I write the force equation towards the center, I'll have mg cos theta is equal to mv squared by L. So I'll have the value of V and this is a projectile motion. You can see the angle with the horizontal is theta and here the string becomes taut again at an angle alpha with the downward vertical. So I will use the equation of trajectory. Let's say that this is my axis, positive x axis to the left, positive y axis upwards. So, initially the particle is at the origin and finally you should be able to see that the x coordinate of the particle 
is going to be L times sin alpha plus sin theta. And the y coordinate is going to be minus L times cos theta plus cos alpha. And now you substitute it in the equation of trajectory. Here u is, I should just replace u by v, where v is root gl cos theta. And substitute the values of y and x. And fir thoda mehnat karo. And you will get alpha is pi minus 3 theta. So I'll leave the calculations up to you. Or you can simply trust me. Ki I'm saying the truth. And alpha is indeed equal to pi minus 3 theta. One thing that I would like you to think about is what if theta is greater than 60 degrees? Then alpha would come, will come out to be negative. What does that mean? What does it physically mean when alpha comes out to be negative? Think about that and let me know in the comments. So that's it for today. See you guys. Good night.